Hi, I am Dr. Ruth Varsha. Today we will discuss gene therapy. So in gene therapy, start with an introduction. If gene therapy involves correcting or replacing, so it involves correcting or replacing a defective gene or an absent gene to modify, cure or to prevent a genetic disease. So it involves correcting, replacing a defective or an absent gene to modify, cure or prevent a genetic disease. So this is the gene therapy. So what are the types of gene therapy? We have two types here. One is somatic. Another one is germline. Somatic here is normal genes are transferred into the targeted cells to treat the patient okay so normal genes are transferred into the targeted cells to treat the patient okay second genes these somatic uh, uh, somatic type gene therapy do not cross the or do not pass to the offsprings second germline so what is germline gene therapy here is a genetically modified a genetically modified egg or a sperm a use uh, sperm are used for fertilization so genetically modified egg or a sperm are used for fertilization which then passes a new genetic changes to the future generation so this passes new genetic changes to the future generation okay second it is for germline gene therapy second point it is potential for preventing the inherited disease so potential for preventing inherited diseases but it is technically a challenging one hmm? next third point write about methods of gene therapy so methods of gene therapy you have gene transfer or gene addition or it can be genomic editing so in gene transfer or new gene addition new gene is introduced into the cells to help fight a disease so here new gene is introduced into cells to help fight or clear the disease okay in genomic editing instead of in, instead of introducing a new gene genetic material into the cells genomic editing when the it introduces the molecular tools to change the existing dna in the cell okay here in gene transfer ad gene addition new gene is being introduced while in genomic editing they introduce a molecular tool 
to change the existing DNA in the cell okay so they introduce a molecular tool instead of the genetic material or a new gene okay. next we have next fourth point you talk about ex vivo and in vivo gene therapy So in ex vivo gene therapy as the name indicates the cells are removed from the body or altered by introducing the DNA using a viral material or viral vector. So cells are removed from the body these are altered by introducing by introducing DNA how these DNA are being introduced by using a viral vector in in vivo gene therapy new genetic material is created in a lab and it is delivered to the patient by our vector so here these genetic material is created in a lab and these are delivered to the patient via vector okay understood so this vector can be injected this can be injected directly to the target organ or it can be injected into the blood so next so ex vivo and in vivo gene therapy so in both these gene therapy we are introducing a dna to the patient by using a vector so next point fifth to write about vectors used for gene therapy so what are the vectors being used for gene therapy we have viral vector and non viral vectors examples for viral vectors are most commonly used adenovirus second hsv type 1 third can be lentivirus these are both the vectors used for gene therapy sixth so what are the hurdles in gene therapy First, adverse immune response including cytokine storm can happen. Okay, so there can be an adverse immune response including cytokine storm. Okay, second, viral vectors can cause toxicity and inflammatory responses so this can cause toxicity and inflammatory responses third multi gene disorders are difficult to manage multi gene disorders are difficult to manage okay so this is about the gene therapy so the regulations that is uh, being used in india for gene therapy is by icmr guidelines so in this we they follow somatic gene therapy actually every gene therapy is under research so we follow somatic gene therapy for certain diseases and the germline gene therapy is not being in a uh, lines in our country now okay next for example what are the disease being treated in gene therapy we will see the examples because you have to write the examples also now 
so diseases for which gene therapy is being used so for example for uh, gene therapy targeting gene therapy targeting hematopoietic stem cell this is hematopoietic stem cells i'll write one or two examples first can be wishcott aldrich syndrome second franconi anemia third metachromatic leukodystrophies so gene therapy for treatment of malignancies malignancies first it can be ebv associated post transplant lymphoproliferative disorder or it can be for ebb positive hodgkin disease second ebb positive nasopharyngeal carcinoma for this they use A gene, a gene modified T cells. Okay. Next, the others can be melanoma, osteosarcoma. Okay. Next, metabolic diseases. can be uh, adrenoleukodystrophy second kenavans disease third for mucopolysaccharidosis hemoglobinopathy such as thalassemia i mean beta thalassemia beta thal okay gene therapy uh, so example continues like this say for respiratory disease in uh, cystic fibrosis for uh, myopathies like dmd the gene therapy is being used so other uses can be on uh, pancreatic chylid cell therapy or uh, corneal repair okay so fda approved gene therapy in children for uh, sma that is spinomuscular atrophy in sma type 1 so fda approved in children is zolgensma so this is an fda approved gene therapy in children for sma type 1 okay so this is about the gene therapy we'll go through it in a brief so if they ask you a question in gene therapy start with an introduction so gene therapy involves correcting replacing a uh, defect sorry it involves correcting or replacing a defective or absent gene to modify cure or prevent a genetic disease types of gene therapy are somatic and germline in somatic the normal genes are transferred to a targeted cells to treat the patients so these do not pass through the offspring so well, in uh, germline uh, the genetically modified egg or sperm cells are introduced uh, to the patient and these are used for fertilization so they pass these passes the genetic changes to the future generation so they have potential to prevent the inherited diseases okay next third is methods of gene therapy it can be gene transfer gene addition or it can be a genomic editing in gene transfer gene addition new gene is introduced into the cells to help fight the disease while in genomic editing instead of introducing a new gene you introduce a molecular tool to change the existing dna in the cell okay 
Next we have X, Y, O and N, Y, O. And X, Y, O cells are removed from the body. These are altered by introducing a DNA using a viral vector. In N, Y, O new genetic material is created in a lab and these are delivered to the patient via a vector. Uh, this vector can be a viral vector or can be a non-viral vector. So viral vector examples are adenovirus, HSV type 1 and lentivirus. The hurdles that are faced in gene therapy are there can be an adverse immune responses including cytokine storm or the viral vectors can cause toxicity and inflammatory responses and the multi-gene disorders are difficult to manage. So what examples, what are for the diseases with, in which gene therapy is being used? It can be used in uh, wishcott aldrich syndrome, Fanconi anemia, metachromatic leukodystrophy and treatment of malignancies and then metabolic diseases like adrenal leukodystrophy, Kenavans disease and mucopolysaccharidosis. In hemoglobinopathies like beta thalassemia, in uh, respiratory it can be cystic fibrosis, in myopathies like DMD. The new uh, FDA approved gene therapy in children for uh, spinal muscular atrophy type 1 is Jolgensma. Okay, this is about the gene therapy. Kindly like, share and subscribe.